Queensland researchers are trialling a practice that could do away with an intrusive medical procedure for children with cystic fibrosis. It's a genetic disorder which affects the lungs and can lead to liver failure. Researchers are already using the scanning technology to diagnose adults with liver problems. Now it's hoped it'll help young patients with cystic fibrosis, replacing a painful and complicated biopsy. Donna Field reports. Megan Rowe has been in hospital more times in her 13 years than most people will in a lifetime, and she'd like it to stop. Then I wouldn't like have time off school so much, and then I would have been able to do the cross country and soccer and stuff like that. Along with admissions for her illness, the CF patient has been having a regular biopsy to check whether her liver is damaged with scarring. It involves a general anaesthetic and a week laying low. But Queensland researchers say they're on track to replace the test using a machine called FibroScan. This breakthrough has the opportunity to both give us better tools to monitor boys and girls, both to reassure those who have some concern over their liver but in fact don't have any scarring, but also to be prepared and identify those who do have scarring. The researchers are developing a data bank from the scans of healthy children and those with scarring so they have a benchmark for diagnosis. The scan is painless and takes just minutes, so it can be done more often to ensure there's no deterioration. It's a wonderful step in the right direction to try and eliminate those um, severe invasive techniques that we currently use. The machine was donated to the Queensland Institute of Medical Research in memory of a little boy who lost his life to liver disease. For Megan Rowe's family, it's a welcome step on their journey to a healthy future. For us, the, the research is huge because we're waiting for our cure. The machine is the only one being used for paediatric scans in Australia. Donna Field, ABC News, Brisbane.